I wanted to show my full face foundation. Not that, well, like, this is my summer routine, I'm going to say, I guess. Because for my winter, I use another foundation for, like, um, spring. I use a different one. You know, I can get, like, really, 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 really complicated. So, yeah, I wanted to do that. For my eyes, I just went in with the 350, the old good old trusty palette. And then... I forgot to freaking turn on my camera. I was too into like YouTube, but I sprayed my face with this. I've been loving this Make It Dewy because it's been summer, but my face like it's been dry. I don't know why. I don't know what's up with it. So I don't know. Um, and then I went in with the NYX Pore Filler. I'm not too crazy over this, um, but like I said before, if I have it, I want to use it, and I'm gonna use it all because I spent my money on it. So you know. But let's get into it. So I have the Wet n Wild um, sponge. If you have not tried it out, mm -mm, you need to go check it out. So for my foundation for summer, I've been using the Fit Me Matte Poreless 310 Sun Beige for normal to oily skin because they have one from like dry to like something else. But I get the normal to oily because my face is really oily. So. And basically what I'll do is I'll, hold on, let me put these sideburns back. Um, just put it on the lower half because I'm going to go in with concealer. So I don't like to really cake it on. You know, I don't like that cakiness. I feel like I used to be like the cake queen because... I was always piling all this shit on, not knowing what the fuck I was doing. Well, back then, I did think I know what I was doing. Cover this mustache. And I'll put another dot right there. For good luck. Rude. And then I'll get my sponge. It doesn't have much coverage, but if you want to build it up, you can. Just don't get too crazy and get cakey, you know. Like I said, this foundation works for me during the summer. It's not for everybody, but hey. You gotta find what works. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it all down. Don't wanna get. I've been having like a rash right here. Oh, it went away, but. It looks like a rash. I don't know why my camera's blinking. Does it mean that it's fucking dying? Bro. Okay, um, so I do my contour for, I cannot talk, I do my contour first, I use the Wet n Wild contour stick and Where's Walnut, looks like this, but I have one open so I'm not going to use this one, I'm going to scrape out whatever, look at all that, I'm not going to fucking waste that, it's crazy, I'm right, just going to brush, hit that shit, see, look at all that, so much, and I'm also going to do a video soon, once I get enough, called, um, empties, like, the makeup I've gone through and repurchased but I just need to collect more okay let me get some more 
I'll take my brush in there. And get these next. Mm-hmm. You don't belong here. Okay. Now I'm going to take my brush and just blend. Oh, that's so amazing. And this sticks like $4. Like, oh. I was going to get the foundation in a dark color. No, the concealer from Wet Wild. But I was like, no, like, my contour stick is doing good. Like, why am I going to change it up for something I don't know if it's going to work when I have something? That's doing the job. You know? But if y'all use the, the concealer. So for my concealer, I'm going to go in with the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And I've been using the Tarte Shape Tape, but I ran out of it, and I absolutely love that concealer. But, um, I just got something affordable. Um, the shade is Ivory. And I took the little top off, the little sponge, because it wastes a lot of, it keeps a lot of the product in there. So I just pulled it right off, and I just squirt it out, and then just get a brush and put it on the areas I want. So for my concealer during summer, I like to keep it very minimum. I don't know if this is minimum, but I mean, I would say it's minimum. And then, that's it. That's the only places I put it. And then I'll go back in with my sponge. Ow, ow, my nose itches. Okay, and I'll blend it out. Yes, hot okay. Look at that. Am I a makeup beauty guru or what? <laughs> Cause I am looking snatched. And then to like set it, I go in with the Pretty Vogue setting powder in matte about it. It's just like a transparent. Is that what it's called? Um, I'll set basically my whole, well not my whole face, just where I put my concealer. And right here, because I tend to get like really oily. So I'll just set it. Okay, so I put my lashes on, they're drying. Don't mind them. So after that I dust off my bake with the Milani, I don't know the shade because it broke, but it's the Milani powder. I set my forehead because remember I did not put concealer nor powder. So for my bronzer, oh my baby put it. He picked a little flower from my garden and brought it to me. So cute. Okay. I used the Profusion Highlight and Contour 2. Um, to bronze, I go in with 
Mm, I don't know the name. The bronze I go in with the middle and then contour with the darker one. Oh, my stomach hurts. For blush, I've been loving the white. Wow, it's a mellow wine, but I broke it, so. You know. Just working with what we have. Smile like up in there, huh? I love me some blush. Next, I go in with highlight. But, oh. I've been loving the Star Curl and Glisten. Mixing these two. From the Profusion palette. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh, top it off. You'll see that. Oh, girl. Such good highlights. Amazing. Oh. Oh, you. <laughs> you see that. Oh, girl. No. a completed look i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know how these products if you use them or if they're in their everyday makeup routine let me know down in the comments below and let me know some other good products that you use that i might like or i might want to try so yeah see you in my next